In this nitty gritty Let's Play live stream, we're going to be playing American Mahjong at Mahjong Time. Mahjong Time has several versions of the game, so if you want to try out other ways to play, this is the great, the best place to come. So I hope that you'll enjoy this live stream so you can see what it's like to play the game on this particular platform. If you haven't tried it out yet, look for my email in the video description below. Send me an email and I can send you information about their VIP trial. In this nitty gritty Let's Play live stream, we're going to dig into discards. So from the Charleston, we'll talk about passing. And then once we get to the pick and discard phase of the game, we'll focus on discarding. I like to call it triage because you basically have to reprioritize your discards based on what's happening at the table. And by the way, everything we talk about tonight are guidelines, not rules. So you've got to be flexible and make decisions based on what's happening at the table. And hopefully we'll have several opportunities that might show or demonstrate some complex decision making. So I hope that you'll find it helpful. If you're watching the repost, thank you so much for watching my videos. And also I want to give a shout out to our moderators. Thank you so much for helping monitor chat. With that, let's play some Mahjong. I'm going to try to find a table. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Karen, Evelyn, Jane, Lana. Nice to have you here. Thank you for the likes. Already we've got likes. That helps my channel. So thank you so much for doing that. And if you subscribe too, that'll also be helpful. When you subscribe, click that little gray bell and that way you can select notifications so when i go live or upload a video you'll get an email from youtube most of the time they have kind of a odd algorithm that is very confusing so you won't always get notification but you'll optimize the potential to get notifications if you click that bell so we just need to wait for people to join our table and we can focus on discards tonight. Welcome, JL's here. Thanks so much for coming. We're just waiting for people to join the table. Happy hump day, yep. Okay. Is anybody going to come and play? CCO Playmate, did anyone ever do that? CCO Playmate, come out and play with me. I won't uh, sing anymore, lest your ears bleed. My mom always told me I couldn't carry a tune, so I try not to uh, sing much. Oh, there's somebody at the table. We just need two more now. One more to go, then we can shuffle up and deal. I'm going to be looking for a couple of opportunities on hands. I haven't gotten the big ear hand yet, and I need to get the news dragon hand under singles and pairs and that pesky 369 pair hand. <laughs> Evelyn. Oh boy. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. One more player and we can get started. There we go. First game. So again, if you're just joining us, we're going to be focusing on discards during the Charleston. They're known as passes, but they're still discards. And then in the pick and discard phase of the game, of course, we'll pick and discard one tile at a time. And we'll talk about discard decision making tonight. And if anyone has any ideas on topics, whether it's a strategy, rule, or any kind of subject matter around Mahjong, 
just send me an email. My email is in the video description below and I'll add it to the growing list of topics that we can go over in these nitty gritty Let's Play live streams. So we have a pair of four BAMs. That's what we're gonna focus on. I'm gonna let the wins go and probably let the big numbers go and maybe this little number too. Let's see. We do have a lot of 369 in here too. So we might even pair up a 369. Let's let the red go and keep the nines. Even though our multiple is in a four, if we get a three, six, or nine, we have way more tiles for that. So let's just wait and see how this goes. Let's do the north, the one, and we need to let something go. Maybe, let's see, three. Let's let the three go. Let's see, we have threes. We have lots of threes in here, actually. So let's do, let's let the one bam and the six go instead. So I'm trying to build around the multiple here with the four bam and still keep tiles for a plan B because if we get a three, six or nine, we might be able to switch. Okay, now we have a two. So it looks like consecutive run is coming in. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch gears and focus on little numbers so we can discard the big numbers and just gather around the four band. It seems like the six nines just were not coming in. So we're gonna pass the nine band seven crack and south. This is not too bad because the seven crack, nine band, different suits. So you can kind of mitigate the risk by doing that. Here we have another multiple and it happens to be a three. So three, four, two, three, four, three, four, five, something like that appears to be the way this hand is developing. So we are prompted to continue the Charleston and I think we should definitely continue. We're gonna have to drill into our range of four numbers around our multiples because we only have two discards. Those can go for sure. We're gathering around the three and the four, which are the pairs. That's the strength of the hand. So with three, four, we probably can let maybe this, either the one dot or the one crack go. This one dot would allow us to pass one of each suit, which is fine. Uh, let's see, just checking on chat real quick. All looks good. Oh, there's another four. So now we have three, four, three, four, some repetition there. Here's a pair of ones now, one, two, three, four, and one suit. Now we're gonna drill down into our range. Whenever you're working in mixed suits, try to gather four numbers in a range around your multiples, which for us is probably either one, two, three, four in BAMs or two, three, four, maybe up to five, in mixed suits, the ones may not be helpful. We have to make a choice right now. I think what I would do here is probably let the one go because we have the pair of threes. But then we need to let this three band or three crack go because passing like numbers is almost as risky as passing a pair, in my opinion. So I try not to do that, especially if we don't know what hand we're playing. So here now we have another four. It looks like two, three, four is the predominant range for us, building again around our multiples of three and four. That's gonna be the strength of the hand, the three, four pair. And we have one, nine south. Those can go. They don't really fit in with our multiples of three dot and four bam. So we'll let those go. So again, anytime you're working in mixed suits, build around the multiples in a four number range supporting those multiples. We did pick up a two crack, so we're working with two, three, four. We could maybe keep the one, but I don't think it's gonna be helpful in this case because our multiple here is with the three dot. We do have a hand in here. We have two, three, four mixed suit Kongs, but it's pretty weak. I think what I would do here is discard three and let the seven one green go. This 
is maybe a little bit risky, but at this point we have a we still have a lot of discards, so we need to optimize our potential to build up our multiples with our keepers. Okay, so no keepers here. Yeah, we're going to be an underdog on this one. So now, when you get ready to discard, after you've gathered your tiles around the strength of your hand, I like to do a strategy that I'm calling outside in at this phase of the game. So I'm going to discard 1, 2, 3, and 7, 8, 9. So the 1 will go first. So the I'm idea done. here is that we're going to keep numbers 4, 5, 6, or in this One case, bamboo. we have a two, so we might be able to do two, three, four, five, let's say, or three, four, five, six. Seven bamboo. Four numbers in a range around the multiples in mixed suits. So you're going to gather all those numbers to give us the most options for whatever hand we end up playing. Right Three now, bamboo. we're not going to pick a hand, not yet. We could even potentially take that, but at this point, I think it would be an early commit, and I wouldn't do it, not yet. We'd have to expose a joker, and I think we have too many discards to commit. So eight is on the edge of the dis the our range, seven, eight, nine. It's the biggest number we have, so that's going to go first. Eight done. So if you discard one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, if you're, of course, not using seven those bamboo. tiles, those will be the first to go because in Mahjong, you have three numbered suits, one through eight nine. Bamboo. Sound so wind. the middle numbers, four, five, six, those are going to be the most commonly used in exposures, hopefully with jokers. And you might be able to get a joker Seven in your characters. hand just because you kept those efficient North tiles. Wind. The reason they're so efficient is because you could either go up or down One from bamboo. four, five, six. You can go up to six, seven, eight, and then you could even go down to one, two, three. three so the idea is that you're going to kind of ride, I guess, ride the fence in the middle so that you can go up or down. If anybody has any questions about that, let me know. White dragon. So I'm calling that outside in for this Seven part of the game. Characters. You can do the outside in concept or theory. Three it's a bamboos. theory that's being tested right now. So that I would not take. We would need to pung. Uh, that for example and we don't even know what hand we're playing so we're gonna let it go nine bamboos okay so now there's a three crack uh, let's let the seven go that's out so seven that would bamboos. escalate that as a discard nobody wanted it so why keep it Five at least this early in the game so again with the outside Eight in dots. concept you want to do that until you get about to the middle of the middle game because One then character. you're gonna switch it and we'll talk more about that when we get to that point. North wind. So for our hand, we have primarily two, three, four. Three so characters. probably the six is going to go. And here, I would not take that three crack. We may even be able to play two, three, four with threes in the middle. This is the third hand from the bottom under consecutive One run. Character. We have no gaps for that hand. Three bamboos. Okay, so that is a tile we need, but we, we can't call it. We're going to let it go. We got another joker, so we're going to let that six, six bam bamboo. go. And we're going to kind of reassess here because Nine our three dots. bams are out. There are two out. If that goes down, we're going to need a pair there for that third hand from the bottom. So Red we need dragon. to come up with a plan B. Right now we hmm. have all two, three, four. That's using our multiples of the three dot three and the four characters. bam. So we'll let that go. Seems like everybody is discarding threes. Six bamboos. Maybe a good hand, maybe. We're, Two we're bamboos. in a bit of a risky spot. Okay, so if we play mixed suit Kongs, we need a two crack, not the two bam. So we're going to let that go. At this point, we do have a hand with no gaps. Three Actually, we have game. two hands with no gaps. Two, three, four mixed suit Kongs, third hand down on the right, Win. or the third hand from the bottom. So here we have a new multiple now with the two, two crack. So I probably would let this two bam, mm, I don't think I would let that two bam go. Let's let the four crack go because four here character. we have two, three, four mixed suit Kongs building. One we have dragon. pairs in each number. So that'll be a, a good way, Green dragon. a good reason to commit to that hand. 
We can calm down two wind. of those exposures, but we're going to need some help. East wind. Because there's a, let's see, there's a four calm. bam out, and we're, we're going to need to dedicate a joker there. And then, of course, we're going to need another good pick for the two or three. Four characters. So let's see. What is out? Three bam can go. Three characters. The two bam one are out. Okay, that is not a keeper for us. We're going to pass. And that now can be an escalated discard. But we have a player to our right with a Kong of East South. Three Souths are out, so they're not playing that first hand. We can safely discard the South. South wind. There are three out, and they were discarded recently. So the Flower. three crack is, okay, we're going to pass. For the hand we're playing, Mojo. we need a pair. So we have a winner here at the table, seven, eight, nine dragons. This is the, which hand? This is a fifth hand down. Oh, I'm sorry. This is second hand from the bottom under consecutive red. Pair, pair, pung, pung, with a four flowers. And it looks like they have... Two jokers. No, no, no. One joker. The one flower here on the end, that's a joker. And then this three flower, that was the winning tile. And it looks like the person across from them discarded it. So let's just check out what this other player was doing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. They might have been trying for the one through five hand under consecutive run. That would be hand number one. And then over here, it looks like we have east and west with a short run or the, th you know, single pair pung, six, seven. They probably were looking for a five dot, I would say, and none were out. Uh, so east and west with the short run or the, I don't know what you call that. I guess that's kind of an ascending single pair pung run. And then, of course, over here, we were just building up. So let's try another game and talk more about discards. Does anybody have any questions about outside in? We didn't really get to the, the end game, so we didn't talk to, about the switch where you got to go back to from outside in. You want to let go of your riskiest tiles if you're going to play to win, and the riskiest tiles will be in the middle of the sequence, four, five, six, because those are the most efficient and therefore probably the most utilized around the table and it really depends this particular strategy on what it happens at the table with exposures and discards so it is an advanced strategy i believe i do have documentation on it so if anybody's interested i could put it in show notes after the live stream i'm pretty sure i have it documented let me just open it open up uh, my my playbook my YouTube playbook has all my secrets in it that I give away freely. So let's see here if I can find it before this game starts. Oops, wrong folder. Let's see. Okay. There it is. Okay. Okay. Finally, that took a while. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a pretty lengthy commentary, so you might want to copy and paste it into a Word document. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Oopsies. Okay, let's sort real quick here. <clears throat> so we have a pair of flowers, two five in bam, six eight in cracks, one four six in dots, a green dragon, and a pair of north. So we're going to build around the north. We're going to hold winds and dragons. So we're going to keep every tile that can be used in that category. With a pair of flowers, I'm thinking we might even need to focus on the third hand down already if we're going to leverage the multiples. 
The other thing that we could do with all these discards is maybe hold on to like number potential. That's a good plan B when you're in Winds and Dragons because there are three hands that use number tiles with winds. We picked up a West, so that's a keeper. We're going to hold on to winds. We have a one, nine, four. Those should be okay to pass. A one, four, probably hard to use. A four, nine, hard to use. The one, nine could be used in one hand, actually two, three hands, single and pair, concealed in the first hand on the right under odds. So that's probably not a likely keeper for most people. Here we have our first multiple with a number tile. So we're going to switch from sixes and we're going to keep the multiple. So we're going to hold two, three, and we'll let the sixes go. But I wouldn't let those go together. In this case, I'd probably keep the multiple and let the three bam go. So we need to decide what we're going to do here because here's a one now. I almost wish I had kept that three and let the winds go, but we didn't have the one at the time. So we do have tiles we can pass. We don't have to pick a hand yet, but if we get one, two, three, and bams, I would probably switch from wins to the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. We're still kind of in between the third hand down under wins, and then maybe something consecutive or maybe a year hand but we have a long way to go. So let's just keep gathering. We picked up a one and a red dragon. So we definitely can let the nine crack go. This is where you just want to discard what clearly doesn't fit. The nine crack clearly doesn't fit. We haven't gotten any other wins besides the west, so let's let that go. Now we have to drill into what we're keeping at the moment. I think we should probably let the one crack go and keep the dragons. We might be able to use that with maybe a, a year hand, the first year hand, let's say. We got the three back, so that's good. I was kind of hoping for that. So we'll keep the three, and since we have a pair of twos, we're going to keep the two now. And at this point, we'll let the norths go. It just didn't pan out, so if you're gathering tiles, which frees up discards for the Charleston, and something doesn't come in as you had hoped, like with wins, break them up, especially if you have a pair like this that's pretty weak on its own. So here we have to pick something. I think the red dragon probably can go. We actually have a hand in here with no gaps. This would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run, four flowers, one, two, three dragon. We need a pair of the ones that's the only weakness. Everywhere else we can use jokers. So now we're being prompted for continuing the Charleston and we have four clear discards. We probably will be able to let the two dot go, but we're gonna hold on to it because we have the pair of two bams. And we have four discards we clearly don't need. So we can surely pass three here. So here I would probably pass north five eight because the five eight are Two, there's a two number span in the middle, as opposed to doing five, seven, which would be a one number span, or seven, eight, which are consecutive. So you wanna to try to mitigate the risk, especially if you have two of the same suit. This is not too bad. Every pass that you do is gonna have some level of risk, regardless. You just wanna mitigate the risk. And you do that with whatever you have. Nine so whatever character. discards you have, you pass as defensively as you Nine can wins. with those discards because you still want to build your hand. So it's it's a balancing Nine act, wins. which is one of the fun things about playing this game. So here we have a four. This, let's see, I think we can probably go ahead and let go of the one, uh, let's see, let's let the eight bam go because we eight do have bamboo. consecutive run one through four. This is the theory where if you have four, uh, you bamboo. have multiple suits, you want to gather four numbers in a range around Eight your multiple. Bamboo. That's going to give you the bamboo. most flexibility for the consecutive run category. You want to optimize your chance to build up your multiples and leverage that strength. Here we're going to pass. The seven band 
is a pair we don't need. So here's now a five dot. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That's a bit long. We don't need the seven. Nobody wanted it, so that can go. So you have to look at what is being discarded and let that drive your decision making somewhat. You look at your hand and keep tiles that can build your hand. Four dots. And then when tiles that you may need or may be considering are discarded or get her in exposures like this four dot, then you want to reassess and then keep that in mind as you make your decisions to optimize your potential to build around your multiples. So here we have now a two dot. So we have two pair of twos. This probably could become maybe one, two, one, two dragon. I know that we had a red dragon in the Charleston. It was passed and somebody kept it. So we might not pick that particular hand because somebody's holding on to that red dragon. The eight Eight can go, we've got little numbers. So when you have chosen a range of tiles in consecutive run in this case, you know what tiles you don't need. So if you're new to the game and you're playing with people who are faster than you, look for the tiles you know don't fit whatever you're keeping for the strength of your hand. Here, I would not commit, I would let it go. We probably could have conged that, but we would be painting ourselves into a corner because we do have two multiples, but it wouldn't work with the the green dragon. Okay, now we have another joker. So at this point we have all keepers. This five dot I think is something that's sticking out like a sore thumb because we have from two dot all the way up to five dot and our two, three, four range, it really wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to use that five dot with our multiples of twos. So you kind of look at where the multiples are and keep the tiles that support the multiples. And in that case, the five dot was not a keeper. Here, I would not call that. If nothing else, we need a pair there if we happen to get a red dragon. I think probably what I would do Let's see, now there's a five, so that we might keep, because now we have one through five. There's a green dragon out. I'm thinking the green dragon can go. Now there are two five bams out, so we may not be able to use that. Okay, so three bam, we have one, two, three, four, five. We we do have one of our pair. Let's go ahead and pung the, oh, too late. If you don't make a decision within whatever the parameters for your table, I think this is a seven second auto, the game will pass you by. So here, let's go ahead and pung. We're going to focus on the first Mm. hand under consecutive run, or we could maybe do something. Let's see. Let's let this one dot go. One dot. Save. Sorry, I was kind of multitasking here. Um... Green dragon. Let's see here. Let me fix this description Four real bamboo. quick. Five characters. There. I think that's better. Whoops. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so that might be a keeper. Let's let the two dot go. Ooh, ooh. Two bamboos. Nope. Mm. Ah! It took one of my tiles. I was clicking on that too. Did you see that? Boy, it's really tricky North sometimes. Wind. Okay, so... I think that description under the video description, the description below the video is updated now. We're not ready for that five. We're going to need to, oh, we just got our pair. Well, that's good. Now we're going to need to let go of these flowers because we're still in the middle game. You do not want to hold on to flowers when you're going into the end game. And we have about five more picks before we're going into the end game. That's when you do not want to hold on to flowers, especially they're very risky to discard in the end game. Four dots. Okay, so what Flower. we're gonna need here is at least one more joker. Flower. Uh, yeah, right now we need at least one more joker because, oh no, we need two because there are three five bams out. So Let's we're probably win. gonna be an underdog here, but you never know, there are eight jokers and none are visible right now beside, besides the one in our hand. Five dots. Okay, let's let 
three crack is out we're still in the middle game let's three let the character wow this it seems like this timer is short for some reason it feels quicker than seven seconds to me nine characters the game keeps okay maybe i'm just clearly talking too much but that's what nitty gritty is all about we're in the nitty gritty so i have to talk a lot two dots this is how we explain these concepts so there's a lot to digest i know eight dots um let's see game discarded because time ran out hmm. yes yes i'm fully aware of that. yes uh, maybe what we should do because of the eight level dots. of detail that I go into, we maybe should play at maybe the eight second or ten second uh, um, tables. Two and characters. that way there'll be a little bit more time to talk through the decision making. In the social let's play eight live streams, dots. the Simply Socials, those we just kind of chit chat. Eight and bamboo. so the seven second auto is a great table for that. But for this, Five when we're characters. digging into strategy, maybe the longer two characters the longer weights are going to be better uh 10 probably would make more sense i think so too uh oh South oh yeah two we have a oh yeah we do not want that so somebody declared Flower. this player's hand invalid we have four eight pung pung yeah wait wait a minute One oh bamboo. wait a minute what two dot Two dot, oh, all the six dots are out. That's why. The six dots are out. They were trying for the four, fifth hand Nine down dots. under 2468. And that's kind of good for us. So we're going into the end game now. This East has not been discarded. Somebody may be playing a Quint. We're going to let this. Win. Yeah, I was going to let that go anyway. So that was a good discard. <laughs> One so character. somebody I think might be playing a quint at the table because dragon. there's only one east out there. Okay, two dot and three dot. These are out. We can let these go. Two dots. The player to our right probably had them. The three we dots should be move. safe. Okay, now we're going to pung that. Pung. And we are swimming upstream right now because we're going to need dots. three jokers. At least we have our pair with the one and pair with the two, so we just need to get Fish those jokers. Bamboo. There's one visible, so maybe we'll draw the, whoop, we got a winner. So we have two, four, six, eight dragon. This is the fifth hand down, two, four, six, eight dragon, and they had, they had three jokers, so that's pretty nice, three jokers. Over here we have seven, Let's see here, probably seven, eight with six flowers, I would say would be probably the best way to go here. Or maybe, maybe like numbers with sevens and six flowers. So over here, yeah, they just couldn't get their sixes. And here's the challenge. When you have a hand with two pair, try not to commit to that hand unless you have one of those pair in your hand. Otherwise you could find yourself in a situation like this. So they committed too early because they did not have at least one of their pairs in their hand there. Uh, because they could have conged that dragon maybe and then kept maybe the eight or eight concealed until they built up that pair. All right, so we're gonna try to find a, a table with a longer duration for decision making. So let's sort by the time limit. And here's a 10 second table. Here's actually a 12 second table. And just because you join a table with a longer period like that, it's not gonna take all that time. Once somebody discards, it'll go to the next person. So it just it's just that after you pick or after you get your pass, you'll have 12 seconds to make a decision. If somebody, like if all the players have their next pass out, then it will stop short and everyone will get their tiles or the game will move forward if somebody discarded quickly. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how this goes. This might be the, the table to pick when we do these nitty gritties. 
So I'm sorry if that felt really rushed and a lot of info in a short period of time. Hopefully we'll have a little more time to talk about it. And another thing we could do is we could pause the game, you know, not go into another game and just talk about it. Like you could ask questions in chat and I could answer any questions that you might have about the idea of doing a discard triage and considering that outside in, inside out theory. And that is in the video description, by the way. So if you wanna open the video description and copy and paste that content, you can kind of think through it, test it out yourself, see how it feels and adopt it if you find success with it. I have found success with it. It is hit or miss just like every other strategy and you've gotta know when to apply it. So hopefully we'll have more opportunities to do that in these next couple games that we play. Let's see here, I'm just looking at it again. Looks pretty good. Uh, have a debrief, after, have a debrief between to open it up for questions. Yeah, instead of jumping right into another game. Yeah, I think that's a good idea too. So maybe on these nitty gritty live streams, we'll play fewer games, but there'll be a lot more meat. Buffer, a buffer. Am I buffering? Am I locked up? Oh no, I seem to be going. Okay. So we're just waiting for one more. Hopefully someone else would join the table here. Ew. Okay. Well, let's hope someone joins us soon. I don't want to twiddle our thumbs here. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. All right, let's sort these tiles. We have a Joker, one, six, nine in BAMs, three crack pair, one, six, seven, nine in dots, pair of north and a south. So our multiples here are north and three. There's really a couple of hands we could play here, and that's in the Wind and Dragon category, so that's what I would do. This feels similar to the first hand we played, where we had a lot of 369. So as a plan B, let's keep 369, and now already we have to make a choice because we have like numbers. That's very risky to pass like numbers, so I wouldn't do that. I would let something go here. So probably I would let maybe the nine, the nine BAM go and then let the one seven go because there is a hand that would use one BAM, nine BAM, seven dot. If we happen to pass those tiles and they're playing an odd hand, they, that could fit right into that fourth hand down. Okay, now we have an East, so we did get a wind, so we're gonna keep an eye on winds. So we want to build around the most of our multiples. Right now, we can still maybe do north and south with a run with the three. That would be the third hand from the bottom under wins. Explain how you know middle game so quickly. The middle game is when you have about 60 tiles left. And also you can visualize the tiles. So you have to visualize about the length of a wall. And that is the end game. You just kind of visualize how long the end game is, and then you kind of go backwards from there to figure out where you are in the middle game. And we'll talk more about it as we go. So now we have another multiple with east. So we have northeast, south. 
I'm kind of thinking we should focus on wins. So we have three nines, six nine, and a six. The green dragon maybe can go. So let's let go of the green, a six, and a nine. At least we have different suits and we're breaking up the six nine so we're not stuck with like numbers. Yep, the number in the middle of the table, that shows there are 99 tiles left for picking. When you get down to 60, that's the end game. All right, here we have a white dragon. If we happen to get twos, we could maybe play the news, news hand under the year category. We definitely should keep going. We've got at least six discards. So here I would probably pass one of each suit. Here we have five, six, seven. I think if we let the nine go instead, maybe even one of each suit and break up the threes and hoard the wins. I think that's what I would do here. Because if we pass five, six, seven, those are um, amongst the most efficient tiles in the set. So now here we picked up a multiple with the five. So maybe keep that. And then here we can let go of the seven, one, right here, one, three, seven, like that. Focus on news. Maybe we could use the fives, not sure. We might even be able to switch to a quint if we get more jokers. 60, 60 is the middle game. Oh, sorry, yes, 40 is the end game. Sorry, I misspoke. Okay, now here we have a three, five. We might be able to build in a, a little run there. So there we go. Yes, thank you, Karen, for the correction. 60 is the middle game. 40 is the end game. 60 is the middle of the middle game. I think I was thinking about Joker bait, which is a whole other strategy. Okay, so we have three discards. We've got three good discards, so those clearly can go. They're not anywhere near our 3-5 and wins. Yep, thank you, Karen. Okay, so 178, that's not too bad. All right, now we have a south. So we did pick up another wind. And we're now going into the Nine pick and discard bad. phase of the game. So we're going to go from outside in. I'm just going to put these in order by suit here. So our biggest number right now on the edge is the seven. So we'll let that go first. Seven. Done. So probably the four or five I would keep as long as possible. We might be able to get a joker out of it. At the moment, I wouldn't pick a hand. Seven done. We could play a number of hands with wins, either under the year category or One in bamboo. wins and dragons. But clearly, we're going to be holding wins. One character. Okay, so one crack is already out, I would let it go. So once a tile one is character. discarded and nobody wants it, then you can just let it go. Just kind of escalate that as a discard. If somebody Seven hesitates character. on a discard, though, that you might want to keep. Seven because character. you might be able to get one a joker three. out of it if someone makes an exposure with a joker and you have that needed tile in your hand. So here again is an outside tile, an edge tile. In other words, we're going to let it go. Seven so the next edge that we have is the th are the threes. So mm. the idea is that you're going to let go of seven, eight, nine, and a one, two, two three. Characters. And the seven is kind of in. It kind of rides the border. Nine characters. So you'll see sevens in discards too. The idea is to keep four, five, six. Maybe One three, dot. maybe seven, depending on what happens at the table. Okay, so nine is discarded, and it's an edge tile, so we're going to let it go. Nine dots. We're going to try to hold on to the middle numbers. So right One now, dot. there are no threes out. There are no fives out. Nine and bamboos. no fours out. There's no three, four, five. No sixes Pong. either. Okay, now there's a, a nine. We have a seven, Six nine out. Dot. Pung Kong. So they may be playing either five through nine in one suit, or they could be playing Green a big dragon. odd five, seven, nine mixed suit hand. Nine dots. They could be doing six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run too. Let's discard this nine crack. That would be an edge nine tile, characters. and it's already out. 
There is no number in the middle of the table when you this play game. live. That's correct. That is where you have to no visualize the length of a wall. And that takes some practice. But I can share um, a geometry concept that I was taught when I was learning how to play pool. We're going to pass because we may be playing concealed. We maybe could have conned that, that, but we have a gap. No west. Okay, now here's the six. So we want to keep four, five, six. We're going to let the three go. So three there's the characters. first three going out. Nobody wanted it, so I'd probably Nine let characters. the three dot go too. We'll see what the walls look like. Yes, so right Eight here, characters. you see in front of east wall, there's the portion that was dealt out. So what you do Two is dots. you look at that space. Okay, now here's a potential keeper for the concealed hand. So here, let's let the three dot go. I'm three thinking dots. we could maybe try for the concealed three hand. Characters. We don't have a west. That's a single for us, so we're going to need to keep an eye on wins. Six characters. Uh, so we're going to let that go. Of course, we're, we're focused on wins and dragons here. So back to Eight how dots. to how to figure out which how much of the wall is left easily without having to count the stacks of tiles. You wouldn't want to do that. Um, six crack is already out, so that would be a good one to discard. Right now, Six we have characters. a four band and a pair of five dots, and we're Three still in characters. the middle game by two more picks. We have 68 tiles left, so that one means dot. we each get to pick one tile. South wind. So we're, he we're kind of heading into the end game in two more picks. Or no, 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 I'm sorry, five more picks. Uh, so we're probably playing a concealed hand here. I would not take that. Okay, now there's a two. We may be able to play a year hand, so I would keep the two. And we'll now let go of the four. So we're still four holding on to the five. It may be joker bait for us, like um, a five, seven, nine hand maybe. I think the player to our right, right though, right is again. playing probably, uh, yeah, we're concealed at the moment. I think they might be playing the first, the first uh, consecutive five. hand. Uh, Two bamboos. Yeah, that's what I think they're doing. All right, well, we'll see. Okay, now there's an eight bam. This will be telling. None are out. So let's discard it and see what happens. Eight bamboos. There's a hesitation. I'll bet you they're playing that first hand. A hmm. Okay, so they're, they're definitely playing that first hand. They need pairs of five, six. They hesitated on that, though, probably Four because they're either waiting on a pair or they have singles. Because of that hesitation, that's my guess. So we'll find out in a bit. Right Three now, they're the bamboo. closest to a completed hand, though, with those exposures. So back to the wall. Do you see this blank space here where we dealt the tiles? Basically, you're going to transpose that onto the opposite side of the wall to match where those tiles would be on the third wall, and that would show you where you are. Here we're going to pass. Oh, five dot. There's a pun. We're going to let it go. Maybe we'll get five a joker out of, out of it. Nope, nobody wanted it. Okay, so here we have what looks like Joker. about five stacks of tiles. So if you count over here in front Two of me bamboo. on the right side of the wall, we're going to pass. And now we won't be able to play a year hand there. So we'll count in about five, five stacks. One, two, three, four, five. So right here basically tells me we have about one more pick out of the, out of the middle game. And then we're going into end game. So that's kind of how you do it when you're sitting at the table. You just have to Five visualize dots. a full wall by using the negative Nine space characters. from the wall that was dealt from. I hope that makes sense. You have to kind of use a Red bit of geometry in your, and transpose that empty space Four to the characters. other wall to kind of figure out how much of the middle game is left. We'll talk more about it if that's confusing. Hopefully we'll have more Five time. Dots. That's a lot. There's a lot of information for a new player, but it's hard to stay on just one skill. 
Yeah. This what we're talking about tonight with discard triage has been pretty complex and advanced, but I want this nitty gritty live stream to meet the needs of new players and advanced players. So sometimes we'll do two bamboo. advanced concepts. And that's kind One of where we bamboo. are right now. Maybe in the next hour we can cut Three back on bucks. the complexity and focus on um, Seven simplicity bucks. with discarding. It, it depends on what everybody decides. Here we have a Joker exchange, so we're going to double click on the Joker, hopefully, if the game will let me. Seven bamboo. So we'll say no for dead. We'll let this one bam go. One I'm bamboo. thinking probably the closed hand here. We're going to pass. We have a pair of east we don't need. There are two wests out, so we're in a bit of a risky place. Also, Eight we're in the characters. end game now. You can see that we have about a full Three wall. Bamboo. This is a little more than a full wall left. So we One need to make a decision. We're now at 40, less than 40, so we're in the One end game. Bamboo. We have a flower here that is going to be very risky to discard, so I probably would switch to defense. We Three could bucks. maybe try to win still by letting the East go. Three but we have a flower. Oh, there's the West finally. Okay, One let's bamboo. look at this now. So if we flower. switch to keeping the flower, now that we have the East, West. Oh, I wouldn't Kong with two Jokers. Not right now. We're going to pass. Uh, let's see. I think what I would do here. How hmm. many... There are white dragons out. I think I would switch to the first hand, maybe. Six dots. Or the concealed hand. I really don't want to let the flower go, though. Let's see. Four dot. None are out. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's see. The whites are out. I think we should white switch dragon. to defense at this point. We have, I think we have Six too many. Mm. We have a ri risky tile. We have two Six risky dot. tiles, actually. The flower and the four dot. There are no four dots Green out. Dragon. So that is going to be risky. Let's let the white dragon go. White dragon. I, I think we should switch to defense. Two dots. You go by the number in the middle. Yes, that works for if you're playing online. But if you're playing in person, you got to keep an eye on the length of a wall. And if you break the Four wall bamboo. and deal the tiles from a broken wall, you have to learn how to do Two that dots. negative space, space um, concept in order to figure Two out bamboos. where you are. So here we Seven have northeast, characters. west, probably. If a flower is discarded, I might try to play Six to win. Dots. We need one more joker, though, for the north. Green dragon. Let's just see what we get. Let's see, seven crack. Yeah, I don't know. This is going to be really risky. Seven we have five characters. more picks and two risky discards. Six bamboos. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good video. One Shuffle character. up and deal. All Six those videos characters. are really good if you're getting back into the game. Okay, so eight crack is a good discard. We have four eight more characters. picks and two discards. Technically, four we can dots. still win. Okay, now there is a discard that we have that I was hesitant to discard because that's a fresh tile. Let's see if anybody takes it. So since no one took it, we should be safe discarding it now. So that'll give us another oh, opportunity to, to maybe make this hand Green work. Dragon. So we're going to discard... Uh, the four dot. four dot. Okay, now that we have these Eight flowers, bamboos. in order to not discard them, let's see, two, three, four there's dot. a pung out. We might be able to get away Three with dot. it, but gosh, we only have, oh, and there's a north. All right, so let's discard the east, east and we'll switch to that third hand down. Red we, dragon. If people discard wins, we might be able to make it work, but... Yeah, I don't West think so. Wind. I think we just should discard these wins. We only have one, two more picks. So, yeah, it didn't quite dragon. work here, but it was a great... Oh, there. There's four dots nobody wanted. Four dots. Eight dots. And we'll have jokers we can discard. So the wins did come in, but just Five. not quick enough. Five characters. Kong. 
Red Dragon. Okay, so we'll let a Joker go. Hopefully, if the game will let me discard it. Joker. There we go. Didn't discard the right one, but that's okay. Nine Bamboos. So it looks like we might have a, a wall game here, hopefully. Four characters. All right. So we do have, okay, here's the predicament over here. Let's go look at everybody's hand. So over here, they did have a pair of fives. Uh, I'm sorry, a pair of sixes, but the five bam was over here with this player. Like numbers with fives, it looks like. So they weren't going to be able to complete that hand. So they were waiting on a pair. That's a tricky kind of hand to be waiting on pairs. You want to try to have your pair secured if possible before you commit. Here we have two eight in two suits ready on a two crack or a flower. This is the third hand from the bottom under evens. So does anybody have any questions either about figuring out, figuring out if you're in the middle game or the end game, whether you're at the table or whether you're in a live game or whether you're online, and then also about that outside in theory. Also, I wanna just query the room do you want to um, pull back and talk more about simple discarding, simple decision making, more like um, uh, beginner strategies on discarding? Let me know. Put a one in the chat if you want to continue with advanced th theories or if you want to simplify and talk about fundamentals with discarding. Put a one in the chat if you want to go simple. If I don't see any ones, we'll stick with advanced. I'm going to exit and see if we can join a table again with a big time in the middle. Let's see, a 10. Let's sort by time. Here, let's see. Okay, here's a 10. We'll just play this one. All right. Looks like we're going to stick with the topic, which really was primarily about outside in and inside out and then where we are in the game as far as decision making with your discards based on which wall in play we have so if you want to learn more about this strategy by wall i've got videos on that so i'll see if i can put that in the video description too let me see here Okay, I'm giving you all kinds of good stuff in here. So the series is called Strategy by Wall. And let's see here. I will add it now. Now this is a link to a video so don't go to it right now stick with us for the live stream and then later check out this video so uh let's see strategy by wall so i'm going to put a, a two here for the second topic there and then a one and with the um outside in so those were the two concepts and I would say strategy by wall, I would call a fundamental strategy. I think everybody should learn how to base their decisions on where you are in the game with the remaining tiles for picking. That tells you how much time you have to build your hand. So that's a really great bit of information to help you triage your discards. So we have two strategies in the show notes now. We have strategy by wall at the end with a link, and then we have outside in, which switches to inside out in the end game. And I think that's explained in there. So here we have a joker, a flower, two, five, nine in bams, two, four, five, nine in bams, three, six, seven in cracks, a green dragon, northeast and south. So this is a, an interesting situation. We have no multiples. So this is where you want to look for a predominant pattern. 
and if you do if you do not have a predominant pattern but you do have consecutive go with consecutive because it is more likely to have keepers there because of the flexibility with the number tiles so i would let the north go and probably the green and then i would keep four five six seven that's right in the middle of the sequence so we might be able to pick up a multiple in one of those middle numbers we got a six there's our first multiple right in the middle of the sequence okay and here we do have a two so we have a two three four five and then a nine we have a two six seven so it looks to me like consecutive run four five six seven four numbers in a range around your multiples in mixed suits so here we're going to let go of the east we clearly don't need wins but i wouldn't pass two wins together if you if you don't have to since we have a pair of sixes and no eight that's a gap i would let probably let the two go and then a nine you're never going to use a two nine in one suit uh and we won't be able to go from two to six in in mixed suits unless we get an eight and that's a gap so i would probably it's two crack two bam one or the other six one half dozen the other all right now we've got an eight and a pair of fours so still we're in the four five six seven mixed suit we have tiles we can pass but we also picked up an eight so we could potentially switch to two four six eight so i probably would keep the eight let one of the wins go the two crack now we have to make a choice because we have pairs of fours and sixes i'm thinking we could play four five six seven so maybe the three bam could go and we still might be able to play a two four six eight if we get a two bam back We got a six band, so it looks like consecutive run. Oh, look, we got an eight dot two. So let's see, we do have two definite discards. Our multiples are with the four, six, and eight. So this is another good situation that we're in. This is where you need to pick the most, pick a direction to go that uses the most of your multiples. We have a four, six, eight. The only way to, way to use all those is to play two, four, six, eight, in three suits third hand down on the right and we have a gap we have no two bam so we kind of have to pick right now what to let go of i think what i would do is still hold on to the four five because we could do four five six seven there's no gaps there and that would be the fifth hand down on the right under consecutive run we could still maybe do two four six eight in three suits third hand down on the right under two four six eight if we get the two now we have an eight dot that is a pung so that is a bigger multiple it's going to have more strength than pairs so i probably would play either uh let's see five six seven eight and then break up the fours or focus on two four six eight and hopefully fill a gap with a two bam and that way we would use all our multiples we kind of have to make a choice right now so i think what i would do here either way we have to give up a tile so i would probably let the seven go and focus on two four six eight we're playing a gap hand so we need two bam maybe it'll come back our way we did pick up an eight and a three here's three four six eight here's an eight so we do have tiles we can pass still let's see maybe we'll keep the five and let the three south eight go because if we do get the let's see if we get the seven crack back we could still switch back to four five six seven we would have a pung we don't need though so i probably wouldn't do that we got the eight again okay so we'll keep that i guess okay so there's the eight so we're going to be an underdog on this one i think let's see how many our opponent wants here oh 
they want two. We can do two. So we're going to let these two go. There we go. All right, so we could do either two, four, six, eight. We've got a gap, no two band, or we could do four, five, five, six. So, oh, we got the seven back. Look at that. Okay, so now we could maybe fall back Nine on four, characters. five, six, seven in two suits. Here's the two. So now I would One build character. around the most of my multiples, which will be the four, six, eight. We filled a gap with the two, so I would probably go ahead and commit and then let these go. We could pung the One two bam, dot. pung the four, con the eight. We just need help with our six. Eight bamboos. Nobody wanted the eight, I think, so we can let that go. Eight bamboos. So if someone discards something that you have, you can Found escalate eight. that as a discard, especially if nobody else wanted it. Nine now, dots. if a six crack is discarded, we could Kong that and wait for the two. We don't Three have to bamboos. commit quite this way. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, now here's the outside in theory. We're going to let go of our biggest number the, on the edge, the nine. That's the on the edge, nine seven, bamboos. eight, nine. So you go from nine, eight, seven as your triage. Oh. Clearly, we're keeping an eight dot, but the nine could go. Two bamboos. So here we have a nine. Oh, here we want that. We're going to pung. Pung. And I think I would discard this flower. That's a risky tile. If flower. we're going to play to win, and this could escalate if we just get one good pick. So I would let the risky tile go. Eight characters. So we can still pung the four. We can con the eight. We just need a little six help with our dot. six crack. There are two jokers available, so maybe we'll Three get bamboos. a good pick and do a joker exchange. So here, the seven is our biggest number on the edge, so we'll let that go. Seven. Either characters. that or the two. The two is the next one to go. Eight And bamboos. then we're left with the four five, which are right in the middle of the sequence. Eight bamboos. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get a joker there. Seven bamboos. Okay, so six is out. Let's let it go since nobody wanted it. Six dot. What does escalate mean when discarding? So while you're Two holding on to tiles that are efficient, like Three four, five, bamboos. six, those are the most efficient numbers in the game because they Three can be, characters. you can go up or down the sequence and consecutive run is the most flexible category on six the card bamboos. so four five six are the most flexible even a three or a seven could be included in there because you can still go up or down with your sequence so <clears throat> as you're holding those efficient tiles and someone discards one nobody wanted it so you can then identify six that bamboos. as a discard because the only reason why you're keeping those is for the potential of maybe getting a joker and an exposure with those efficient tiles. That's why this is an advanced strategy because you have to make pretty quick decisions on uh, with what is being discarded, what is in exposures, and what is in your hand. What hand you're building, what category you're in, your plan B, let's say. So you have Two to keep characters. all those things in mind. There's a lot of spinning plates with this particular strategy. I hope that helps. Nine Escalate dot. just means that you prioritize it higher for a discard. You identify it as a discard before others that have maybe not yet been discarded. Speaking of that, though, you have to also watch Nine the dot. wall because you do not want to hold fresh tiles when you're going into the end game. Right now, we're still in the middle game by five picks. So right now, the green dragon, the four and five have not been discarded yet. Let's go ahead and discard the green. Green dragon. And we still have time to keep the four or five, but here's the thing, we're set. We can Pung and Kong each block for Six our hand. Dots. So in this case, I would even discard Four the dots. riskiest, the, the efficient tiles at this point Two because characters. we're set. We have a pretty good chance of winning. So I'm now playing to win. I'm going to keep the safest discard for my final discard and let go of the tiles that are fresh 
because maybe someone's holding on to those and I don't want to discard into a winning hand in the end game. So you have to be able to see where your hand is as far as are you set? Are you ready to punk Kong? Or, you know, how, how close are you com to completing your hand versus how many picks do you have left in the huh. wall? So here we have a five bam. This is a fresh tile. Four it's characters. the riskiest discard we have. So I'm going to probably let that go now it, since it's the riskiest and we're so close to our hand. So we're going to let that go. Five There's bender. one eight crack out. That's just one step down from the five. And you can see there's a hesitation on that five. So somebody is holding the five. And they're thinking hard about that particular tile. So if we had held on to that, maybe in hopes of getting a joker, that would be risky because we're we're too away from ready, or really, yeah, too Seven away five. from ready. And if we hold on to that risky tile, we might have to discard that tile for our last Seven discard five. before we're ready to win and someone else could get the mahjong. All right, so there's an eight and a seven out both. The seven was discarded recently, so I probably would discard the eight first. Eight and that's characters. because in the early round of discards, which is seven where that eight bamboo. crack went out, somebody might not have been ready. So that still could have been a risky discard to hold on to because now wow. they've had time to get maybe a joker. In this case, it didn't work. Hmm. Okay, so now we have seven a Pung bamboo. and a Kong of, a Pung of Flao will pass. That now is our safest discard. So we're going to hold that and let the three, oh no, no, the three also is Nine a, dots. these are both safe discards because there are three of each out. Wow. So let's see, oh, they got a Joker exchange there. Four bamboos. Okay, we're going to Pung. Pung. Now we'll discard the, let's see. Either one of these. Okay, the three bam. The seven three was recently bamboos. discarded. So this should be safe. Flower. Now, this player here to the right, yeah, they have a, a Kong of nines Eight out with characters. a Pung of, th of flowers. They're maybe playing the like number hand Five bamboos. Uh, with six flowers, maybe. Hmm. Or they could be playing a mixed suit hand, Four eight, bamboos. nine. They could have our eight dot, by the way. So we're going to close that. Three dots. And, okay, white dragon. There's one out. We're going to play to win, so I'm going to discard the riskiest tile. White dragon. If you're playing to win, you want to discard your riskiest tile first and hold on Nine to the safe characters. ones or the supposed safe ones for later discard. We have one more discard. No six cracks are out. No eight dots are out. Two dots. Oh, uh-oh, oh shoot. Nine okay, bye characters. Evelyn, thanks for trying, thanks for coming. Okay, we Seven got a keeper, a six crack. Now we're ready to win on a six crack or an eight dot. Five characters. And we just discarded a nice safe tile because we prioritized it and kept, we switched hmm. from holding on to four, five, six and discarding Two the dots. edge tile, seven, eight, nine, and then switched to holding the edge One tiles because they were all going out anyway. Let's see, seven crack. This is going to be a bit of a risky discard here. Seven characters. We're ready to win, though. Okay, so somebody did think about Red that. Red dragon. Yep, just you, ha you have to uh, weigh the risk and then accept the consequences for whatever decision you One make. One character. So if I'm ready to win with this many tiles on the wall, Five I will play to win. There, they got another joker. Seven characters. Okay, three crack is out, so we should be okay there. Three characters. Maybe a Four one nine characters. with three five seven. Maybe. Let's see. Three five one seven. Bamboo. Three five seven. Mahjong. Yep, good call. Good call, Jane. I was thinking who had my eight? It's in the wall. Okay, so here's one nine with three five seven in the middle. Good call, Jane. Over oh. here we have like numbers with fives. So they needed help with their five dot. Over oh. here we have a wind hand news in one suit probably. It was getting tight for them though. They need a south there. And they needed a pair there. They only had one discard though, so they were pretty close. 
Okay, so we're going to join another, I think the 10 second table is going to work for nitty gritties. Nitty gritty, let's play. So we just need to wait for two more players to come. Let's see here. Yep, you never know. They got there before us and that's okay. We're just waiting for someone to join the table and we can play another game. Maybe two more games. If they go fast, we can maybe do three. We'll see. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long though. I hope you've all enjoyed uh, hearing about the outside in theory. Is it, what do you guys think about it? Is it too complex? Is it, um, does the game move? I guess it depends on how long you've been playing, if you're able to keep, you know, consider all the different variables for that strategy, that you got to have years of playing the game in order to correctly apply that strategy. So it's definitely advanced. If you're a new player, don't attempt it. Or, or I guess you could try it and see how it feels. And if it makes sense, go for it. But it, it may not make sense to everybody. It, it, it kind of comes with time before you can do strategies like that, like that particular one. So here is another challenging hand for us. We do have a couple of jokers, which is nice, but we don't have any multiples. We have one, four, six, seven, eight in bams, three, eight in cracks, one, three, five in dots, and a single south. I would let the south go for sure. So now we need to pick two discards. We have a predominant pattern with our bigger numbers, five through eight, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. So I would let the little numbers go. And I would keep four through eight, five through eight, maybe four through seven. Okay, there's our first multiple. So now we're gonna reassess completely and build around the mul multiple. So the seven bam is going to be the strength of the hand. So here we do not need a two. And this is where you can just use a process of elimination. If we have a pair of sevens, we maybe could do a one three, but we have no five or nine. Uh, and we do have a pair of eights in there. So probably I would play with six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight even. So I probably would let the one go and then maybe the four and focus on five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow, Sylvie, good for you. She says she's been playing the strategy for a long time. She just didn't know it was a strategy. That's awesome. Kudos. That it takes, uh, I mean, that, that takes some insight. Okay, so here we have a pung of eights now, pair of sevens. So clearly we're going to do five through eight. We're just going to gather till we run out of discards. We're going to build around the seven, eight for sure. So here probably six, seven, eight, nine, we have a gap. Or we could maybe hope for flowers, let's say. Or we could maybe, let's see, do seven, eight flowers. I think what I would do here is probably let the six dot go. This was kind of a tough choice. Okay, now we have a seven, another seven. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to put the jokers over here to kind of break out our discards. Uh, we definitely can keep going. So we're building around the multiples, which is seven, eight. We have a two, four. We clearly don't need with a seven, eight. So I would let those go. Now we need to pick one more discard. And I think what I would do is let the five go and focus on seven, eight in two suits. And maybe we'll pick some flowers out of the wall and play seven, eight second hand down under consecutive run. 
Oh, now here's an interesting development. We have an eight dot. So we have seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and an eight. We need to pick one more tile. Let's see, so eight here. So we could maybe try for, let's see, six, seven, eight in mixed, or six, seven, eight with eights in the middle. We have all the eights. So in that case, I probably would let the seven dot go. Still building around the seven, eight, and two suits. And don't get dismayed if the hand doesn't develop. This is just the part where you can exponentially build the hand, but we still have the pick and discard phase to go. Here we have lots of tiles we can pass. Now this six dot, maybe we could keep that because if we do get even one flower, we could play six, seven, eight, mix suit Kongs, third hand down. Because of that, I probably would let the, mm, no, that's a pair gap. We're gonna let the six go. The reason for that is if we get even one nine, we could play six, seven, eight, nine, and we just got a nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, pung, pung, kong, kong. It filled in, no gaps, so I would commit probably to that. We have two discards, clearly, two, five. They went three. So if we played six, seven, pung, pung in BAMs, eight, nine, kong, kong, we're one away from set at the moment. So I think we should go ahead and risk letting go of three and committing to the pung, pung, kong, kong hand. Let's see if we can get a keeper out of this. Right now we have four discards which is really good. After the Charleston, if you have four discards or less, I'd say you have a pretty good chance of winning. It's not a done deal though. Somebody could get there before you. Oh, look, we got the nine. So now we're actually set for our hand. We can pung six and seven because of the jokers, or we could Kong eight, nine. I could put these jokers in place so you can see. We could Pung the six, Pung the seven, Kong the eight, and Kong the nine. So our hand is, this is what is called Think set, that. when you can call for every tile in the hand. So because we're set, I'm gonna discard the risky tiles first. Flower. That's the riskiest tile we have. And probably the south is gonna be the safest. North wind. The four, it's an e efficient tile, so this would be a Eight good discard bamboo. next. Nine dots. Now we have four a pair dots. we don't need. We're going to hold it. This could be Joker Bait. This is another great strategy. This was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. If you just Google Sloperama or Tom Sloper, you'll find his website. This is when you hold on to a pair you don't, uh, you hold on to six a pair characters. that you don't need. And then in the middle six game, characters. which is about when you have 60 tiles left, three characters, you discard one of those tiles and you might coax an exposure with a joker. Let's let the seven, seven go. Seven characters. So we're gonna to try to hold on to that, that eight. We're, we're in the early game and we only have three discards. So it may not be, it may not work out this time because the middle of the middle game is the Five best time characters. to apply the joker bait strategy because it's giving people time to West build wind. their hand and build their multiple, maybe with a joker, which is what you want, give them time to gather and then Seven characters. Discard one. See how the table reacts. East wind. So we'll see how this goes. One character. South wind. Okay, we're going to pass. And really, there wasn't much of a hesitation there. So South now wind. we have only these eights left, so obviously we're going to be discarding those. We're ready to Pung and Kong with Four the other bamboo. two suits. Five dots. Thanks for coming to the live stream and thank you for the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell too. That's their notification One system. Dragon. So anytime I go live or upload a video, you'll get an email. 
Okay, so let's see. We're going to let one of the eights go. Let's Ace just dark. test the table. Yeah, there wasn't much of a hesitation there, so we can discard those. They'll probably be safe. Seven dots. Yes, you can watch these videos again and again Three to characters. kind of drill in the concepts because some of them are going to be complex. We still haven't seen any of our tiles yet. Two characters. Pung. Oh, we got skipped. Green dragon. Four dots. Okay, now there's a nine and a six out. The eights are out too. So these are all probably safe discards. Let's see. Let's let the nine dot go. Nine dots. Three characters. Green dragon. We're ready to Pung and Kong. We're playing the fifth hand down on the right if you're just joining us. And this is under consecutive run. Uh oh, wait, oh, someone lost connection. Anytime at Mahjong time, if someone's profile pic turns to snow like this, that means they lost connection. If they're a VIP member, they get 60 seconds to get back in the game. So there's a timer there. So they have 30 seconds, 29, 28, 28. So you'll get a countdown so you can relax for a few seconds until they can get back in. If they don't return, a robot will take over their hand until they do come back. Sound win. Okay, so here we have a flower. That is going to be a risky tile to keep, so we're going to let it go. Flower. We're set for our hand, so try not to get distracted. If you're set Home. and you can use any number of jokers, let Three go of dots. those risky tiles. Otherwise, you could be holding on to them in the end Home. game, and then you could end up paying. Um, Four bamboo. So let's see. Okay, red dragon. This is probably a ris the riskiest tile because it's fresh. Red there are none out right now. There's one six out, so that Eight is the risky characters. next riskiest tile. Now that for us would be a Kong. So we're going to Kong. Kong. And we'll let go of the six dot. Six dots. Six characters. We need a six bam. Two bamboos. We have a pair we don't need, but it seems nobody Four wants dots. the eight dot, so these should be safe. So now the two dot, this is a fresh tile. We're still in the middle game uh, here by, well, we're in the middle game for about five more picks, so I would let this go. If two we're playing dots. to win, we want to let go of the riskiest Mom, tiles. Dad. That's why. You don't want to hold on to those later. So in this case, it's kind of hard to know what they might have been playing with a pun there. Let's see. Maybe not. Uh, anyway, we're playing to win, so it happens. We have a year hand here. This is the third hand down under the year. Over here, we have the 13579. Maybe they were trying for a pair hand. Not sure. Over here, we have three, four, five mixed suit Kongs. So they were one away from, no, yeah, one away from ready. They needed a flower. All right, let's go again. We might be able to play two more hands. Let's let's go ahead and jump to this table over here and try to get in a quick, a quick hand. And I'm going to pull back just a little on the advanced strategy. We'll just kind of coast in the last two games and keep it light. So we have a uh, Joker, Flower, one six nine and Bams, a six crack, two three and dots with a pair of threes, white dragon, pair north, and a south. So I would build around the north and the three. These may not go together for us unless we do, let's say, north-south with the ascending run, I guess you could say. 
So maybe we let go of, we could maybe do three, six, nine and mix suits though here. There's actually a hand there. Let's keep the number tiles and let the wind go, at least one of them. So maybe build around 369 here. There's a pretty good representation of that here. So we do have a two and a seven. With our three, maybe this wants to be consecutive. Let's just keep it. We might have to let it go already because we've got wins. I wouldn't pass two wins here. Let's let this, this north go. And the two, I would rather keep the 369. Run with flowers and dragons. Run with, oh, well, we had a single pair. We didn't have ones or fours. I really didn't consider that because of the gaps. Here we have a good representation of three, six, nine. So that's where I would focus. And that would be building around the three. Here we have four, seven east. That's not too bad. I think this mixed suit Kong hand, 369 and mixed suit second hand down, we have no gaps for that. Another three came in for 369, or we could maybe switch to like numbers. We should definitely keep going. Let's see here, we can do the eight, maybe this time this, uh, let's see, did we give the north to the, we just, we're on second left. So we just gave a win to the player on our left. She may be playing wins. So let's see here. We have three, six, nine in mixed suits. Three, six, I think I would still give up maybe the, the west. And maybe even this white dragon in this case. I try not to pass white dragons, but we've got to get some help with our hand here. So now we have two, three, four consecutive run building. You just kind of want to go with the trend. We need two more tiles. So we have three, four, two, three. We still have three, six, nine in here. So I would focus on three, six, nine. That's the predominant pattern. So I would let the two, four go. We could still play that mix suit uh, hand, second hand down. Here we picked up some consecutive tiles, but we wouldn't be able to use the three dot. We have a lot of five, six, seven in here. So I would still try to build around the three. That's our, that's really the strength of the hand. So I would probably let the five bam go and the seven and still focus on three, six, nine. Oh, someone just gave us a pair of north. Well, okay. That is the prerogative of every player. So I think here, three, six, nine, mixed suits. Maybe we could let, let's let maybe one wind and one, we'll do two. We'll let a wind and a one crack go. And then here, I would, discard wins first. We don't know who's keeping them. I think the player on our left might be keeping them just because I gave them two and maybe they kept them. Oh good, so we did get a, a wind back and a four. So we do have a little bit of three, four, five. Nor so I would win. probably keep the four because it's an efficient tile. We might be able to switch to consecutive run, which is much more flexible than three, Fine six, nine. Move. So we're going to let the wins go first. When There's a four. Win. Right now we're between three, six, nine Nor and win. three, four, five, six. But at the moment we have a gap, no five. Who passes pairs? I don't know. Some people don't mind passing <laughs> pairs. It's very risky. We weren't really in it though, so they got away with it this time. Seven characters. We've got good discards with those. I would keep this Seven. dragon for a minute anyway. So right now we're still One building win. around the three dot. We're gonna try to use that pair. That's the strength of the hand, if you can believe it. It Six looks bamboo. this looks like a hot mess, but it's gonna come together. Sound wind. 
we'll let the north go. So now north, we have a, yeah. pair, a pair of flowers. So I probably would seriously Eight consider down. the second hand down on the right under 369 because Nine we down. could Kong the three and we could even pong the flowers. Yeah. We would just need to build up the, the six and the nine. I think the riskiest tile that we have right now is probably this white dragon, so that I would white discard dragon. first. We're keeping 369. So in this Red case, dragon. the outside in theory doesn't really work because we need threes and nines. Four bamboo. So we'll pass on that. And now that nobody wanted that, we can escalate that as Eight a discard bamboo. next. So let's let the four bam go. Four and we bamboo. finally have a pair of sixes in here. Here's three, six, nine, nine with flowers. Five. And we're going to be able to let the four eight go. One character. So here's a separation there. Four so you dots. can see we have a nice gathering here of uh, three six nine. Let's let the eight dot go. Eight so dot. for the three six nine mix suit hand, we need Kong Pung Kong. One dragon. Well, the flowers are a Pung, so it's really Pung Kong Pung Kong. One. So dot. Pung of flowers, Kong of threes, eight Pung characters. of sixes. Kong of, oh, we have the wrong nine. So what we need in here is the nine dot. But here's the thing, Sound there wind. are two out. So I would reassess this idea completely. Wind. I think probably what I would consider here is the concealed hand. One bamboo. Single pair pung, three, six, nine. Six we can use the, okay, we're gonna pass. There's a nine crack now. Let's just keep that Four for a minute. Characters. So we have all three, six, nine now. We've gathered all three, six, nine. Now we're gonna have to nine take dots. it pick by pick. So here, I would not play three, six, nine Eight mixed dots. suit because all the nine dots are down. So I three think, bamboo. oh, we have the, we needed a nine crack. We're okay here. So here's three, okay, the eight bam can go. So we eight can calm bamboo. the three. We could pung the six. We need help with our nine. Red dragon. So these are over here are our discards. Although we still could maybe play three, six, nine concealed. So let's hold on to the nine and the six for a, a little bit. The three, nine, three, bam, three, bam, nine, bam, and six dot. Let's let the six crack go. And Six at this characters. point, we're we are we're actually set now Four because we have jokers and we have three discards here. West Six win. dot three bam nine ma'am. We seven can dot. pung and kong all of our tiles now. So let's see, three bam and five bam are out. Let's let the three bam go. Three bamboo. Nobody wanted it. And then we'll let the Four probably dots. the nine bam go next. Let's Four see. Dots. There's one five bam out, but one that's a dot. middle number. We might be able to get a joker out of that still. There are two one cracks out, so I think that's a good discard. One when character. do you call defense? I look at how many nine picks dots. I have left in the wall versus how many discards are in my hand. Two dots. And I also consider gaps and weaknesses in my Four own hand characters. based on to what is out in the discards. All right, now here's the development. We have nine bams now. These are not out yet. That's a pair we don't need, so we're gonna keep it. Five we're, we're two picks away from the end game Four though, characters. so we don't wanna hold on to these for too long. Those are fresh tiles. Flower. Okay, we're gonna pung. And I think hmm. we should, oh, somebody got there first. Green dragon. That's a bummer. Well, at least there's no joker there, I guess. Okay, so let's let the three crack go. So you want to look at how many discards you have versus how many picks are left in the wall, your weaknesses in One your hand, dot. the discards that are out, and the exposure. So again, a lot of variables come into deciding when to switch to defense. Red dragon. And hopefully we'll be able to talk about it. Okay, we're gonna let the nine bam go. That is a fresh tile. Nine we did bamboo. get a keeper here. Let's see if someone, okay, somebody did hesitate on that. Eight I was hoping characters. someone would just, would put an exposure out with the joker, but because there was a hesitation, Green I'm now gonna make that my priority discard because they weren't ready for it unless they 
maybe got a keeper with that recent pick. So here we're going to let the nine go. Let's see if there's another nine hesitation bamboos. there. And there is very slight hesitation there. And we now have that one is. discard and we're now in the end game. It's anybody's game, but we're Four one away bamboos. from ready. We can Pung and Kong at will. Seven characters. Okay, eight bam, that's the safest discard, so we'll hold it and let the six go. <coughs> that's the riskiest discard for us. Four bamboos. We're still waiting to Pung and Kong here. Five bamboos. Which are the top One variables dragon. are important in the end game. Okay, now north, that is going to be the safest tile because there are three out. So I'm going to discard the eight band. The, the eight most bamboos. important thing in the end game is to decide if you're going to play to win or switch to defense. If three you bamboos. have around three discards when, the, when you're at 40 Nine picks bamboos. or less, that's the end game, three bamboos. play to win. Otherwise, I would switch to defense and then discard as safely as possible. If you have four, five, six discards, or if you're playing a gap hand where you're missing tiles, Nine you might switch to defense in that case. White dragon. So we're ready to win on, on any one of these tiles that we have in our hand. This should be safe. There are three out. Eight characters. We could win on any one of these tiles. Eight bamboos. Seven the flower might be hard to come by because Two there's up. a pung out. This should be safe. One character. So there's still a lot of variables to consider One in dot. the end game, but really, I think Two dots. if I had to pick one, it's to keep an eye on the number Two of discards dots. versus how many picks are left. And there we, we picked our winning hand. So we'll match on. We got one in. I'm so happy. Okay, so the player on our left did not play wins, but they were really going down. So we have 369 in mixed suits. This is the second hand down on the right. Over here, it looks like we have like numbers with twos. They were one away from ready. They had the flowers there. I was wondering if we were going to have a hard time getting flowers. Here we have a little odd hand, 1335. This is the second hand down on the left. They had two discards, so they were pretty close. I would have played to win for both of those hands. Here we have a long way to go, so they probably already switched to defense because they have one, two, three, four discards, and they're in the end game. This would have been a good defense hand right here. Too many discards, and they only had one, two, three more picks. Four discards. Only three picks left in the wall. There's no way you could win that hand. Unless you made an exposure for every discard or you picked a keeper every pick. Probably not likely. So we're going to try to play one more game. Oh, thank you very much for the kudos. Let's go ahead and jump to this table here. This will be the last game of the live stream. And we'll, we'll try to coast on this one. Because I know there's been a lot of information. But when you're talking strategy, there are a lot of strategies that come up in just about every hand. I mean, every hand we've talked about, the outside-in theory, and ev almost every hand we had potential joker bait. Those were primarily the two topics of the night, and they were in almost every hand. So... It kind of worked out nice that way. Okay, now we have another very challenging hand. We have a pair of Norse. That's our only multiple. We've got lots of number tiles, but they're all singles. We have a flower, one, three, four, eight in bams, five, six in cracks, one, five, seven in dots. When I have a situation like this, I'll still keep the multiple because that believe it or not, is the strength of the hand. If we get wins, we're going to hoard them. Then I would look at the predominant pattern with the remaining tiles. Since we have two fives 
and big numbers, I would say maybe four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight is probably going to be the predominant pattern. We've got two ones though, so we have to be careful there because we don't want to pass like numbers. I think three, four, five, and just because of the way these tiles are lined up, I would let the north go because I would not pass like numbers and I want to keep the most efficient tiles. So in this case, the multiple was a good one to let go of. And now we even have another middle number that's going to be much more flexible. So let's let the north go to a different person and we'll pass on the one bam. Although we could maybe do a one, three, five hand. Let's let the one crack go maybe because there's a one, five. And then we need to let something else go here. The seven, we have a lot more three, four, five, six. So let's let the seven go. So we're building around three, four, five, six. That's the focus. And those are in the middle of the sequence. So we probably will build up here, I'm hoping. Here's a seven. So it looks like four, five, six, seven might work. We have one east. So let's see, we don't want to pass like numbers, so I wouldn't let the one bam go with a one dot as well. Let's see here. One, maybe this hand wants to be a one, three, five, but it's not really looking good. I think what I would do is probably let the seven go, one, seven, and keep, keep the middle numbers, three, four, five, six. We're still hoping to build up three, four, five, there's a six, seven, nine. Okay, so here's six, seven, nine. I would totally reassess here. So we definitely want to keep going. We have one, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. We have odds in here. One, three, five, seven, nine, and one suit. Maybe we could play the pair hand. Let's let the east go and the six and focus on odds. So let's let this four go by process of elimination. So we switched from three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven to odds because we still don't have a multiple in here. It's kind of strange how that's working out. Usually you can pick up on a multiple pretty quickly. So there's one, three, five, seven, nine, no gaps with the odds. And then we've got two fives and a seven. We could still maybe play this pair hand. And this is, by the way, the second hand down under singles and pairs. Let's just see how the multiples come in. Every hand is different, yes. That's why the game is so much fun. Okay, we picked up odds and a pair. Our first multiple right there, five. So here, I would completely reassess and build around the multiple. If you have a hand like this where you don't have a multiple the whole game through, or at the beginning we had that north pair, but it didn't go with anything else, so we let it go. Here we have now a pair five, so that would be the focal point of the hand. We have one tile we can pass for sure. Then maybe we could do the pair hand. I would probably let the seven go. I don't pass like numbers, or at least very rarely, so I would pass one blind here. And I don't pass flowers either. Uh, very rarely will I pass a flower. So probably these two will go, and oh, now we got a seven. That's another multiple. So again, I would reassess. So we have five, seven. Let's see how many tiles our opponent wants. We have a lot of big odds. Five, seven. Let's just see how many they want we might switch to big odds because of the two pair here. How many do they want? They're delaying. They, mu they might want one tile. When someone delays like this, at Mahjong time anyway, this may be true on other platforms. There they go, three. Okay, now here, I think because of the five, seven, I probably, uh, let's see, we could maybe, mm, five, seven, South one. I think I would give up on the pair hand and let the little numbers go. Let's do three and let's see if we can do something with either big odds or maybe even switch to five, six, seven if we fill a gap. 
that would use both multiples if we can get a six dot. But again, that's a gap hand, so it's a little risky. Okay, bye, Karen. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. I am planning on doing another live stream, Simply Social Let's Play live stream on Friday night. All right, so now we have a development, uh, maybe Green Dragon. I don't think so, though, because we have the wrong Gwen suit. Win. So I don't think I would keep the dragon, probably. Win. We do have a three and a one. There's a nine now. Let's let the dragon go at the moment. So we have Green five, dragon. seven, nine, and bams. Three, five, seven, and dots with pairs Gold of fives dragon. and sevens. Then we have a one, five, nine. Sound we win. could maybe play the second hand from the bottom on the right. We have no gaps for one that dot. hand. And we have a pair in here. So we might be able to do that. Let's discard this flower. We don't need that for flower. that particular hand. The shape for that is pear pung, pear pung, kong. So we have pear pung with the dots. Nine or I'm, I'm sorry, we have pear pear. We need the nine crack to be the kong. So we're going to let that go. Just because you can call a tile doesn't mean you should. One bamboo. So I think the two dot will go probably first here. That's the only sing uh, even that we have. Okay, now that, pardon me, we kind of have to commit. Let's just go ahead and commit to a pung. Pung. Because there are a number of hands we could play with a pung, a sevens with two these dots. remaining tiles. Green dragon. Nine dots. Three dots. Okay, so we are looking for big numbers, big odds. There's a nine. Let's keep the big numbers and let the little number go. Three dots. We really don't need that nine either, and it's out. So that might be a good discard next. Seven characters. That's, yeah, we don't want that. We want the bam. We need the seven bam. One we dot. could maybe even pung that seven because we have a joker. Seven characters. Oh, there's a nine dot now. Okay, so let's just hold on. <clears throat> we have five, one seven, character. nine, and dots. If we get even one, one red dra red. or one white dragon, we might switch to the hand just above it in one suit. We need a pung of sevens there so we can leverage that exposure if we get a white dragon. So we'll keep an eye on that. It's Seven a gap characters. right now, so it's not going to be helpful. Now we secured a pair for that other hand. So I would probably let the nine bam go here. Nine bam. So for this, we need the nine crack. We have a pair we don't Eight need, the characters. nine dot. One was discarded a little bit ago. North wind. Maybe somebody could still use it and they just weren't ready for it. So Home. we're going to hold on to that for a little while. Flower. We could pung the seven. Uh, we have our pairs, the fives. Two we need dots. the nine crack. Nine crack, seven bam. That's what we're looking for. West wind. Either way, the five crack can go. One dot is out. We're still in the early game, so we don't need one we, dot. We can discard the tiles that are out or bamboos so we're looking for a nine crack or a seven bam it'd be seven nice to, bamboos. okay now that we're going to go ahead and pung might as well pung. we can't call the nine anyway let's discard five crack five so crack now crack. we have this pair we don't need we're going to hold on to it and see if we can maybe discard it Let's say East wind. maybe once we get into this long wall here. So maybe West three wind. more picks and we'll see how it goes. If we get a keeper, of course, we're, we're going to switch it out. Okay, so seven crack is out. Seven characters. Five bamboos. That's a pair for us, so we're okay there. We're playing the second hand from the bottom on the right under odds. Eight characters. We're looking specifically for nine Five cracks. Characters. A north would be nice. Okay, red dragon, none are out. This goes first. That's the red riskiest dragon. discard. And if we're playing to win, you want to discard... Quint. Quint. Okay, now that is a new Easy variable win. to consider. They're playing a big hand. 
So we now need to Rams consider what number tile are they holding on to. So you want to look at what is out, and those will probably be the safest discards. So you have to decide, do you want to play to win Three with characters. a quint on the table, or do you want to switch to defense? I would play to win still, and just try to be careful with my discards. Nine dots. There's already a nine dot out, so I can't imagine that being their tile. Four bamboo. Okay, so let's see. What's not out yet? Two characters. There are four tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six tiles four that have, have not been discarded yet. This is one of them, the six dot. This is going to be the, a risky discard. We're one away from ready, though. Six dots. Okay, so that takes care of that. Five we bamboo. have the, uh, let's see, that's a pair for us, so we're okay there. They may have the five dot. There are no five dots out. No two, three, bam. Nine dots. Okay, that's a pass for us. Uh, let's see, no six, bam, no eight, bam, no eight Four dot. Bamboo. Hopefully we will not draw one of their tiles. This one crack is a one good character. discard for us. We need one more good pick. Green dragon. Maybe we can get the north. That's a an exchangeable Six tile dot. there. And then we have a safe discard right now with the nine dot. Nobody wants the nine dot. White dragon. One bam. One is out. The nine dots are safest, so we're gonna discard the one bam. One bamboo. One is out. I was hoping that wasn't their winning tile. One character. They could be using a joker for their other quint. Number one tile. Dragon. So let's see. Number tiles. There's still one, two, three, four, five. One dragon. Five fresh, six fresh tiles still, still up out there. One character. Two bamboos. The north is maybe still in the wall. Four characters. Now this hand, someone might think maybe we're playing like numbers with sevens, but all, uh-oh, two flower. I think we should play to win. Flower. Only two flowers are out, so this might be a winning tile. Nope. Woo, we got lucky. Uh, so Ding someone bamboo. might might have thought we were playing like numbers with sevens and dragons, Eight but all the, all the greens and all the whites are out, so Ding they probably bamboo. know what we're playing with our exposures here. There's only one other hand that could be. All right, three dot is out. That should be safe. Three dots. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but they did discard Eight a two dots. bam. I think they're holding probably the freshest tile for their three quint. I, I don't know if they're ready yet on their quint for the number tile because they three discarded bamboos. a tile that wasn't out yet. So this east should be safe. East wind. We still don't know what their quint tile Flower. is. Uh-oh. That's Riley, by the way. He might sound like a big dog, but he's not. He's a little poodle. A little poodle. Poodle be Sean. Oh, flower was just discarded. It should be Flower. okay. Nobody wanted it a minute ago. Mahjong. They picked a tile. They didn't pick it up. The last, that was two discards ago. You never know. So we have a winner here. We'll give them a kudos there. We have a three, six, nine with a Kong of sixes. This is the second hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. Over here, we have a two, four, six, eight hand. Maybe, maybe the concealed hand. They might have been trying for the pair hand, but drew jokers, not sure. And here's the eight bam. They were waiting on an eight bam. That is a fresh tile. So that would have been a very risky discard. All right, that is going to do it for this nitty gritty Let's Play live stream. We got to the top of the hour, so it was perfect timing. Thank you so much for coming. Please share about these live streams with your friends so we can grow the community together. If you haven't already subscribe to the channel please consider subscribing click the little gray bell if you do that way you'll get notification for when i post new videos or go live and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table
Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.